Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and this is RimWorld and we are back at the Hussar and Highmate colony. As you can see, our two Hussars are here in the frame. We've got Strong, the mother of many, as I've just decided to call her on the spot. And this is another pawn who I recently redubbed from his original name. He is now known as the Cinder Man, which I think is pretty cool. It's an ominous name. He was originally named the Cider Man, which I chose to fully ignore and just call him Cinder Man. And now he's officially been dubbed as such, but he's not the real star of the show, although he was because he replaced the dead member. So he's He's integral now to the colony, but the real star here is the unborn child inside of Strong, who, by the way, the last time we checked, only had a 5% fertility, so this little baby here is kind of a miracle. Kind of a miracle, baby. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and inspect the genes. I kept the first couple kids kind of a surprise, you know, during the series, but nonetheless, I think we can check this one out. So let's see what we've got coming along here. Super fast wound healing. That's a Hussar trait. Very cool. Psychic Ludov, another Hussar. Let's see. Heat tolerant, partial antitox, violence disabled. Wow. So we've got another nonviolent which is to be expected. I mean, it's, I guess, 50-50, essentially, because if they don't get the hyper-aggressive trait along with violence disabled, because the hyper-aggressive overrides this one. But um, I like with Lady V here, if we were to look at her, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. She has, uh, you know, an overriding hyper-aggressive trait. But nonetheless, this one doesn't. So it's also kind, delicate, high libido, very attractive, red eyes, so it does have a nice little mix of both Hussar, great social, that's good. Awful plants, awful animals. This is ki this is good actually because it doesn't also say awful mining, which is one I often see with our new kids. But uh, the downside to this little baby right here is it didn't get the psychic bonding trait, which, you know, would have been good for a passive, very attractive, high libido, high mate, but yep, no, no worries though. We're going to accept all kids here. As you can see, here's Buddy. He's also another one of our nonviolent pawns. He's, but he's still helping out. So the colony is going really great, guys. We are just, I guess, waiting for our next big strike. There's, there's a gap here since the last time Randy's hit us. So we've got our trap funnel ready. I've replaced the doors i've flipped them around so i'm anxious i'm anxious to see what he can do with this also in addition one thing final thing to note here is review whoops <laughs> cinderman's got a different ideology we are one point away from reformation so i'm looking forward to that for sure um all our rituals are on cooldown but i'm going to keep a close eye on those so we're going to be trying asap as soon as we can Oh boy, well look at this. Randy has dropped a space refugee on us by the name of BB. And as you can see, it's right in the middle of our plans for the future location of our spa and our casino and stuff. But in, just in case anybody's tuned in for the first time and has wondered what's going on with this, this is a special planning mod I have that allows me to color or change the color of my, uh, our planning. But nonetheless, let's stay focused here. Neanderthal type, space refugee, nothing really valuable to us right now. We're not at the stage where we can harvest genes or anything like that. We're still pretty early in our research, honestly. We're still in microelectronics. I'm really trying to make a beeline for these growth vats so we can get these kiddos up and running. So unfortunately for BB, Basil Badler, Batter. I'm sorry. I, I'm so bad at reading. It's because my vision's so poor. I can't see my screen very well. <laughs> but Basil BB Batter. Man, oh man, she, she's got a cool name, but she's just going to have to lay out there in the water. But I think, unfortunately, we're very busy right now. And we have very limited resources. In addition, we've already got one prisoner. And this is a quest-related one. 18 days we got to keep her alive too because we haven't received our range shield belt yet so i'd really love to get my hands on one of these so in other words no extra prisoners right now not while we've got her that would just encourage a more frequent you know prisoner breakout so we're trying to avoid that for sure
Okay, we'll check this out. We have officially moved everything. It's not a good placement. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I don't really love these circular walls because it forces you to kind of move things away from the edge, especially if you got doors here. But nonetheless, having everything centralized is okay. I think I will go ahead and deconstruct these refrigerators here, these deep freezers. They're kind of redundant now that we've got our walk-in especially since I've already got the stockpile zone set up. I've limited it to just fresh corpses and food as well as plant material. Now, one thing I do like to do is come in here with storage and I'll build some meat hooks too. These are really, really helpful for storing your actual corpses on. I'll just put a line of them here. How much steel do I have? I do have quite a bit at the moment, but man, that stuff goes so quick. I'll tell you right now what we'll do. We only, you don't need a lot of these because one of these meat hooks will hold 13, I think it is, 12 or 13 corpses of any size right here on the single square. So it's extremely helpful for storage in your freezer. And eventually I'll probably put in some food baskets down here and stuff. But for right now, this is good just to recover, you know, to conserve our resources and stuff. Now I do, as I've mentioned previously, I like to have my drugs in the same room and stuff. So they still need to move a lot of this stuff. Yeah, a bunch of our stuff's on the floor in here. So once this gets all sorted out, eventually this entire space is going to get converted i don't exactly know what i might just go ahead and either flip my monument i think that's probably what we'll do it's not a monument anymore but this was a quest monument we had to build it got converted as you can see to our ritual space temporarily but originally i wanted to put some more of these rooms here so that's probably what i'll do i'll flip the ritual room over to this side make it a little bigger more extravagant so we have better rituals speaking of which no such luck yet if we look yeah performed recently negative 74 percent one thing i learned in this playthrough is that the the level of this number here does indicate how long it's been so if it's at a lower percent you know it's counting down to zero so we're about halfway through our waiting for this one to reset itself so i am watching closely and I can you can count on the fact that when we finally reform this I'm gonna add more rituals I'm going there's a couple things that I want to do for sure I'm gonna make love I I'm not sure if I'm gonna unrestrict free to, free love because I would like to be able to assign Shay and Cinderman to the same bed instead of just putting their beds in the same room trying to like very passively encourage them to get together but honestly i think the problem with these two is more the fact that shay has fallen in love and developed a psychic bond yeah with this guy named inepus who was a visitor she fell in love with she was so desperate she was just hitting on every guy left and right including shepherd the the husband of strong she was hitting on old shepherd here at times so she fell in love but he doesn't, he's never in the colony and he's a baseliner. So I'm a little nervous about what we're going to do. I, I hope that this eventually falls off just, you know, over time. I know that if the pawn dies, it'll eventually go away, but I don't know if I'm willing to actually murder an Epis just to drop that off there. I am, it might be possible. I'm, I'm thinking about it. It is within the realms of possibility. Okay, well, we just got another bulk goods trader, which is pretty amazing. We've had several traders recently. Um, and let's see, let's get him over here to trade. And Clarissa just went into a party frenzy, which is pretty amazing, for especially for somebody her age. She's three years old, three and a half, essentially. But we take a look at her bio real quick. Well, I guess we should look at her hybrid status. She's got the size sensitive side bonding. So she can bond with people, create that really nice like bonus to the mood. She's very happy, heat and weakness, and she's got hyper aggressive. So she, unlike the baby that Strong is currently carrying, no offense baby, she is the best of both worlds, literally, creating the psychic bond, and she can fight. Now the one downside is she's delicate. Yeah, yeah. So she's all good. Like I said, she is awful mining, so that stinks. But she's also great at shooting, so she might end up being just like a great sniper. I don't know. Nonetheless, she's been a, you know, a great contribution. All the kids have been, honestly. Even the ones who were, you know, not quite the stellar pawns like Buddy here. 
or the unborn child, but uh, little Lady V, she is an amazing one for sure. Look at her. She came out of the womb literally at like a 12 melee or something, and her social is through the roof. So she's another one. She was literally a super pawn. I'm looking forward to seeing what she becomes fully grown. Let's see. She's at eight. Oh, she's almost to nine years old. Awesome. Okay, here's another pretty solid trade just for the you know, like basic resources. We got components, about 40 of them, and about 250 steel. So in exchange, we're giving them some of our eggs. Thrombo one, thrombo for a hat, which is like, I don't know, it's worth like 400 silver. And a bunch of muffalo wool, which is pretty much for us now like a renewable resource. So I think that was a really healthy trade because we ended up with a little bit of silver as well. So bring those in. What's our total count? Oh, man, yeah. That puts our uh, components in a really nice situation. Yeah. The research is, like, slow to a crawl now. And it's essentially because I've got the high mates entertaining the guests. And we pretty much have a constant stream of guests. That's the one. I wouldn't say it's a downside to the mod, but you do have a lot of visitors as long as you got a nice place. But nonetheless, what I've done to compensate is I've turned Shepard off of. Well, I've not turned it off, but I've lowered the priority for entertaining. And what I need to do is probably adjust his art, too, because he does have a sculpture he's been working on. But I don't know. He's constantly distracted by cooking, too. That's the problem. He's also our chef, so... Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I deconstructed all the deep freezers, and now all the stuff's just laying out there. I probably should have just done that initially and had them all carry it into the walk-in uh, walk freezer, but that's okay. I'm being the most inefficient about it as possible. There we go. Okay, well, I've decided to put in my very first pathway outdoors. We've got Cinderman. He's in here working on a bunch of hats. Look at this. I'm trying to get his craftsmanship up a little bit. He is potentially a production specialist. We, obviously, we don't have one yet because our ideology is too basic, but I don't know. He's got no passion for construction, which is unfortunate, but we're working on that, just trying to get it up nonetheless. And his crafting is low, but he's got the double passion, so I'm just looking for anything we can do to bolster strong here to help her out with her construction work. So she's she's got a bunch of people laying out the materials for her. The kids come and lay all the stone and stuff, and she just has to fall behind. I think I'm actually going to lay out a roof here, too, because... Right now you can see we've got a little bit of roof here, but it's pretty spotty. All right, we'll set that up. Wait, oh wait, oh, I just realized, nope, okay. I'm glad I noticed that. Ignore this, don't do that. There we go, in fact, let's go to our remove roof. I just wanna make sure they don't put any roofs here. There we go, that's pretty perfect. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Eventually, these will get moved because they're in kind of primo territory right here in the center of the colony. But um, you know how it is with power generation this early on. I've been just focused on colony defense and a few other little things here and there with our research. I did get basic fuses down, which reminds me, I researched them, but I never built one. Go figure. And I've literally had like two explosive events recently. So I think it's time to get a fuse down. Also, considering Strong is in her second trimester now. So that's already progressed a little bit. Things are going pretty smooth. I think what I'll do... I'm thinking about actually changing her fertility or her pregnancy chance. Let's avoid pregnancy now. Because, I mean, she can have back-to-back -back kids. It's happened before, even with that reduced fertility. Tell you what, Shepard is the man. He's, oh, don't look at him. He's going to the bathroom. But he is the man, no doubt about it. So I think one bassinet for Strong is good enough. Like I said, she's the only constructor we have. So we need her in full, full form, at least for the, the most part. All right, well, we have just installed our fifth wind turbine here, trying to get the power back up to normal here. It's been having some brownouts and stuff, but I also just got my second stone cutter label or a build. So let's get this bill here copied over and pasted. And on top of it, we've got some visitors. So let's check them out. <gasps> I see the glowing red eyes of a hussar here. That's amazing. Still, we have not seen one single high mate in the... Have we? 
Maybe we saw one, possibly, but we've definitely seen quite a few of the Hussar types. God, she's young, 13, just turned into an adult. <gasps> she's got a mining. She's too smart with mining. Is she one of the ones that we've already set for friendship? No, I don't think so, but I will. I'll check this off so that we make friends with her. Uh, looks like this guy's been with us before, possibly. I don't know. Or at least he just hates the Empire and he wants to leave because he's willing to be recruited right away. But he's a baseliner. He's a baseliner. He's got a cool favorite color, though. Nice. Like fire engine red. Let's go. But uh, those three, I think that's it. That's all right. Small group. Potential with the Hussar female there. But obviously, as I've said before... I don't think when they just visit for the first time, you really can't make good enough friends with them right away. Maybe if you have enough people on board who have really high socials, but for our current setup, it's like they need to visit multiple times before we can really hope to recruit them. But, I mean, that is how we got the Cinderman here. So, oh, look at them sleeping side by side. It's precious. I just wish that psychic bond would drop off. Or maybe, you know, she realizes that she's got something better close by. And she can just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to go through the whole lurid process with you. I think you can picture it. But, man, oh man, I hope that works. Okay, here we go. It is time for a leader speech. Uh, Rainy throws a flash storm on us. No big deal. Um, no worries. All right, let's see what we do here. Going pretty quick. Come on, give me a point. Oh! <gasps> Oh, uninspiring. Are you kidding me? We have had two poor rituals in a row now. So we are still sitting here at 9 of 10 just waiting. But uh, like I said, I'm keeping, keeping track of them. Okay, now here's an interesting one. We're going for the conversion ceremony here with Cinderman. I probably should have tried to hit him with a couple of just her conversion things. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, hit her with a, you know, her, she's got her own little conversion spell. Uh, it's on cooldown now, but nonetheless, we'll see how this goes. Let's speed it up. Oh, 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 oh. Reformed. There we go. So, yeah, that was actually worth a point right there. Nice. So, we've done it. We can now reform. Oh, this is it, folks. This is our first reformation. So, let me just look at Cinnamon. He didn't get fully converted, obviously. But nonetheless, I mean, it took a little clo a step closer. Like I said, too, I'll try and remember to use her conversion things. But let's forget about that for now. Let's do our reformation. Here we go. So, as I believe, what does it say here? Is there anything that pops up? No tooltip? Okay. So, reform your ideologian by changing its structure, means, or style. Don't need to change the structure. Let's add a meme. I think we can add... The one I'm looking for is Human Primacy. That's it. That adds the production specialist. And yeah, for sure. I, we might do more later down the road. I've toyed with the idea of a high life, but definitely Human Privacy. We're not doing Cannibal. Not this time around. No Tree Connection. No, no, no. Obviously no Tunnler. So I think I'm just sticking with this for now. Like I said, we're going to reform this sucker again later down the road, I believe. So let's do that now. If we hit next, I can't add any styles. I think we can only do one thing here is add a style, add a meme, or change the structure. But, all right, so let's do next. And, okay, this is what we're looking for right here. Huge. So I'm going to start at the bottom first. And let's see. What I want to do is go ahead and add a bunch of rituals. So let me do that real quick, and I'll show you what I finish with. All right, so I've gone in and added three rituals. The animal sacrifice, which doesn't really work that much with the high mates. But, I mean, it's a good way of butchering our animals because our high mate handler won't do it. But, anyway, we've also got a Christmas tree party here, which I've gone in and set to any time. So, I don't like to have the rituals, even though it's a little bit more in theme, especially for this one in particular. But, I like to be able to control them 100% when and where we do it. So, I've also added the dance party, too. So, I believe this one requires, like, the speakers and stuff. But, that's okay. We're going to add all that later. As long as it gives us more options to, you know, have rituals so we can reform more and more. So now we need to go in and add that role. 
One thing I like to do is take off any clothing requirement for that. It's just an extra thing, you know? Although the cape is kind of cool. I might have to go in and add a cape for like the leader. That's not a bad idea, but no, we'll do that later. <laughs> Let's stay focused here. So there's a couple of things I definitely want to change here. Let's see, one of them is drug use. So it's right now it's medical or social. I'm removing this altogether. So there's no precepts around drug use, so we can just do it freely. In other words, we don't have to worry about it at all. Okay, so the next one would probably be physical love. We've got it set to moderate. I don't know if I really want to switch it to free though, to be honest. Maybe mild is better. Uh, but let's see. Can I add precepts? Yeah, what else? Oh boy, there's a lot here. Not, not all of them are obviously open for us though. So let me just see if there's anything I really want to grab. Okay, well, there's nothing I really want to add, but I do want to point out, of course, the drugs have been removed from our list altogether, and there's nothing here about honor either, so it's not like I've I've only been role-playing a little bit as honorable, but I don't have the charity precept on here at all, so we don't have to worry about that. We can freely do that later if we want, because it is kind of fun going the opposite of my last playthrough, which was very much an evil playthrough with the toxic wasters. But anyway, so I think we're pretty good. I mean, I'm still going to be pumping out the rituals as soon as I can, so we'll be looking for a second reformation. And any suggestions you guys have for our next one, leave them in the comments below. But I think we've we've done what I set out to do here, hopefully. Let's let's go with it. All right, and is that it? Do we oh do I need to save it or I think it's I think it's done now. Yeah, okay, we're at zero of twelve now, so we've reformed. There was no like celebration or anything, but hey, no big deal. It has happened, so I'm excited for that. Okay, yeah, check this out too. See I can force my hussars to inject go juice now. So normally earlier I couldn't under the ideology when we have that uh, had that drug precept up there so that's good i was just kind of testing it making sure also yeah he's set to the hussar clarissa you should not be set to hussar you're a high mate um that's another good thing like with all the hussar kids we've had or at least the kids that lean more towards the hussar none of them have come up with that like addiction to go juice so that's interesting at least none that i've noticed maybe that's something they develop when they become older because giving kids go juice at a young age, I've discovered, is not good. They pretty much go into OD, like overdose phase, immediately. But I don't know. Okay, and it looks like from, yeah, from this menu at least, I cannot reassign the bed still. That's the ideology. So maybe I should have just taken that precept off altogether or opened it up to free and undone. But like I said, I don't really want... I like, I like the idea of Strong and Shepard, you know, being a couple and stuff. And obviously with their psychic bond, they're still going to be a couple no matter what. But maybe, we'll see. Let me know again down in the comments if you guys think we should go to a free and open society. We only need to get 12 points. And now that we've got these extra rituals, man, I could probably pop out another ritual right now. Let's see. Yeah, there's a couple. Oh, what about um, if we start from here? I do want to look at... The Fair of Faith? Is that the dance party? I should have just renamed it to say dance party. But uh, yeah, we will need... That's not the one. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to lay down the speakers. And yeah, the light ball. Oh yeah, that's not too expensive. I don't know how many we need. That's what I was hoping to see. I think it's like four. But we'll try that. Also, the sarcophagi are now going to get moved into the freezer here. I think I'll probably leave this one because this body, you know, not to get too gross, it's probably already rotted, so it doesn't need to be frozen, but I'm going to build a couple of copies of those. I think it's good to get ahead of the game, so to speak, and have a couple of open sarcophagi in your freezer just in case an accident happens and you need to put somebody on ice until you can get a mech resurrector serum. Oh man, crap, look at this. The pigs are coming through. Whoa, that's gross, actually. That pig's eating the corpse of its friend who just ran through our trap funnel. That's literally what's happening right now. 
So yeah, the animals, when it gets really deep winter like this, they'll eat all the food that's available. Look at this. Yeah, so they're they're munching everything they can, and some of them will get attracted to what we've got going on here in the inside. So it's another good reason to make sure that I've got my pathing all set up as much as possible. And at some point, you know what I'm going to do in these little corner areas? Because we've got these nice rounded uh, air spots around our buildings. I'm going to set up a nice little grow zone right here. We're going to hide it, of course. And we will set that up for some flowers, some beautiful daylilies there. But of course you won't see it till it's springtime or summer, but it'll be nice, nice little surprise. And I'll do that for all corners, but it'll look a lot better once we get the pathways all laid out and stuff. Okay, well, oh my God, look at that. I was just going to say that I'm starting to force Strong to work on some of our mortar shells right now, literally, because I was worried about a raid. Check it out immediately we get a poison society raid dropped right on top of us oh no that's not good yep 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 they're here okay let's grab everyone capable of fighting that includes the kiddos damn this is not good let's see what happens here and i'm gonna take everybody else actually you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just grab all the kids yeah i don't really want them fighting so let's bring them all in and this is another good thing about having these little indentions on our buildings i can set them up oh, 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 oh crap they're coming right into the school where i just put everybody all right uh move them in here damn this is bad i might have to move them individually oh god 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 all right get you right over here and cinder man come right here i'm going to be using these insanity lances and stuff very freely all right pop your go juice there strong Cinderman, how you doing? Are you healthy? Yeah, he just seems a little slow. Here they are. All right, Shay, don't go there. I want you to stay right over here on the side of this wall. Okay, let's take a look at him. This guy's popping the go juice right now. He's got gun. There's a shotgun. A couple of clubs. Luckily, it's not a huge raid, so I'm a little nervous, though. Let's wait till Cinderman gets set up. Oh, look, they're destroying the melee thing. How how appropriate. All right, and they just set themselves a fire. So, all right, guys. Well, we've got it all lined up here. I'm going to open these two doors and hit them both with our shock lance and one of them with the insanity lance. So, we'll see how the, well this goes. Man, oh, man, I hope we don't lose anybody. But nonetheless, guys, I think we're going to end it right here on a cliffhanger. That's right. So, come back tomorrow to see if we can pull off this little raid here. Randy, of course, being a jerk. I hate the drought pod raids. The very worst of all things. But... Thank you so much for joining me for the content or for the series so far. If you're enjoying the content, I hope you'll consider hitting that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, guys, and I will see you on the next one.